Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to capture and render camera images in Revit. Now if you're watching this video, you should have already completed your 3D model. The first step we need to do is to change the exterior building material. You can do this by selecting the desired wall, and then the Properties menu, selecting Edit Type. From here, in Construction and Structure, select Edit, and we want to change the finished material on our exterior side. So we're going to select this Materials box. Now as you can see, our material right now is set as generic, but we would like to change that. So you're going to scroll down, select any material you would like. For the sake of this project, I'm going to select stone. Once selected, you can hit OK and see how it's changed as your exterior material. From there, hit OK, Apply, and OK. Now that's changed. You can repeat this step for any other exterior wall. Now it's time to take our camera image. The first thing you need, need to decide is which level you would like to take it from. I'm going to change to level 2. Now to get the camera, in the top ribbon, in the View tab, under 3D View, you can select Camera. Now when you select that, a small camera icon will appear on your cursor. You can drag that to wherever you would like to take the image from, and then left click. From here, you're going to drag your view frame to include the building. Now the further you drag it, the further you will see, so make sure you drag it far enough in order to see the building. Once you have your spot, left click, and then your camera image should pop right up. Notice it cut out a little bit of the building, so I'm going to extend our frame to include all of it. Now this looks pretty good, but if for some reason you need to change your view, you can go down back to the properties menu and to the camera section, and you can change the eye elevation and target elevation. Eye elevation changes the height from which you're standing, Target elevation changes the height on the building in which you're looking at. But we're all set here, and so next thing we need to do is select Render. You can do this under the View tab and by hitting the Render button. Now our Render menu pops up, and it gives you a list of different options you can customize. We're going to look at Quality, so it gives you a list of qualities. Now the lower the quality, the faster the rendering will get done, and the higher the quality, the slower it will take. I'm going to select medium. If we go down to lighting, we can select what kind of light we would like. So for the sake of this project, I'm going to select exterior sun only, and we can also change our sun settings, and we can change our azimuth and, and altitude. From there, we can select our background. It gives you a list from no clouds to very cloudy. I'm going to select no clouds. Once you have your settings all set, you can then click render. And then your rendering progress will pop up, and this gives you a percentage of how close to being done your rendering is. A medium rendering will take about four to five minutes. Once your rendering is complete, you can then adjust the exposure. These are simple things such as changing the brightness or white point. And it also includes highlights, midtones, saturation, and shadows. Once you have the final image that you would like, hit OK. Now your rendering is complete. The last thing you need to do is save it to your project. You can then save it as whatever you would like. Once you did that, hit OK, and then you can close the rendering menu. Now, if you go back to your project browser and expand renderings, your rendering should be there. And that's it. 
Now you can export this and use it for projects.